Honestly, it's a dog eat dog world out there and finding a natural, healthy and safe dog chew that is not only good for the dental health of my dogs, but overall health and enrichment is almost impossible nowadays. And so in this video, I want to, by popular demand, share five of my favorite natural chews that I swear by and honestly couldn't live without for my dogs. So let's just jump in this video, right? Meow. Oh, and if you stay tuned until the end of the video, I will be sharing three very common, very popular chews that you see almost everywhere that I would never ever feed my dogs. But I first want to start with the four main things that I consider before I give my dogs a chew. And the first one is the enrichment value. Is my dog actually getting some kind of mental stimulation value from this chew or are they scarfing it down in two seconds and then it's like it was never there. Almost feels like a waste of money. The next thing I consider is safety. How safe is the chew for my dog? Also, I consider what is the sourcing? Is it responsibly or sustainably sourced or at least a very high quality? And then the final thing, and this is not in particular order, is the health. Is it adding to my dog's overall health? And if it's not, I'm not interested. And the first one, Wallace, we're not supposed to be up on the counter. <laughs> this is how excited they are. But the first one that we really couldn't live without is a pizzle or a bully stick. But the problem is, is because they become so mainstream, the quality of most of the popular brands of these I see is completely crap in my opinion. And what I mean by that is they're preserved with chemicals to reduce the odor and to make them more shelf stable so they can stay in the packages. They also are not sourced responsibly. So the animals that they're coming from is not the most of humane practices is I guess how I'll explain it. And the safety aspect of it are, in my opinion, just seem to be second thought if a thought F at all. So I spent a solid year not feeding these until I could find one that I fully trusted, one that I could actually connect directly with the company and the founders and owners, and one that was following all of the practices that I believe in, so it follows my values. And that is when I came by the uh, Safety Chew Bully Stick. And the crazy thing about this is this is actually a very small company. Um, everything I talk about in this video will be linked on my shop page, which is linked down below. You can check it out after this. This company is only managed by a handful of people, completely family owned, woman led, and they're based out of Austin, Texas, which we recently moved away from to be closer to family. We're on the West Coast now, but that was pretty crazy to me that they were in my hometown where I lived for over a decade and hadn't really heard of them. But here's the thing, guys. This platform that we have right here, we now are reaching millions and millions of people every single month. So thank you for being here. If you're new or you're an OG, I appreciate you. But what I love about our community here is being able to elevate the smaller brands that don't have the big marketing dollars of these big corporations. A good example is that most kibble brands are owned by three or four massive corporations, which are absolutely profit first versus pet first in my experience and my research, having the opportunity along with you to support these smaller brands, which are the heart and soul of our pet community is a dream come true. And so this company is doing things incredibly well. So if you look at their sourcing, for example, they are responsibly sourcing 100% grass fed free range beef, which is unheard of for a pizzle like this. And then the most important part about this, I mean, yes, the health aspect of it, so I know I'm not giving my dog unnecessary chemicals, is valuable. But the most important part of any chew really is safety, right? Because there's different levels of chewers. We have aggressive chewers, we have ones that are softer chewers, ones with small teeth, big teeth, puppies, adults. And I will give you a tip at the end of a puppy chew that I love. Um, though any of these could be great for puppies, Wally has been eating everything I'm gonna show you today and chewing on uh, since he was a little guy. But these come with a safety chew device. And this is not a chew toy, rather it is a mechanism that holds the bully stick in place and that way the puppy or the dog cannot eat the last half inch to inch of the pizzle. And the reason this is important is this little piece at the end of any chew, not even just pizzles, it becomes a choking hazard. And we all want our dogs to be super safe. I always recommend to just be your dog's best advocate, pick a chew that's best for them, work with your vet if you have any questions. 
and always, always, always supervise. And the way that you put it in, just so you guys can see, is they have the hole already pre-drilled and you just stick it in here and you push the little knob to go through. Hopefully you guys can see that, we'll focus here. To go through the hole and then it'll come through here and then this little latch keeps it from coming out. For this next chew that I, rather my dogs, could not live without our air dried single ingredient chews at a variety. And what I mean by that is you guys know that I get the monthly subscription from Real Dog Box. It's all linked down below if you want to learn more about it. But what it does is it comes with a variety of gently air dried treats and chews. And the reason this is so valuable is remember, if it wasn't up to you or I, our dogs would never leave the four walls of our home, right? And most of our dogs, and this has happened to me before when I get a little lazy, don't really go out on many adventures as often as they would probably like. And so adding mental stimulation and enrichment to their life every single day is critically important to keeping them happy, healthy, reducing stress, reducing anxiety. And so I love having this come every single month because it gives them a variety of different chews that are all responsibly raised and they're all single ingredient. And like I said before, they're gently air dried. So the nutrients are much more nutrient dense. So for example, we have the duck neck, we have some air dried anchovies, and there's just a variety, it changes every week. We have some of these beef spleen little chews. And so this is an excellent way that without me having to think about it, I can add some value to my dog's life and add some spice. And they love opening this box with me. The best part about it though, is it's a tiny company, woman owned, no investment backing period. So you're literally supporting a small, small brand that's sourcing these ingredients responsibly. They're getting whatever is fresh and available in that moment. So you're not worrying about meat that's been sitting around for a long time, which happens a lot in the industry. And they're gently air drying it in their kitchen and they're shipping it to you. And that, and that just to me, and that to me, y'all know that when I talk about brands that I personally use, it's not something I used to do. <laughs> Wallace, can we please not jump up here? Come on. Yes, good boy. We got Finn back here and we got my chocolate lab down here. But having the opportunity to support yet another really small brand is such a powerful way that we can use this community for good. And I didn't always used to share the products and brands that I used because I honestly thought you guys weren't interested, but it's now one of the most common questions I get. So I make these videos to show you. And then another chew that is something we've only been using for the past about year and a half, two years. Uh, and it's really been a game changer because of the crunch factor. And that is this lamb horn by Icelandic. Again, it's also linked down below. The reason I love this is it's, you can hear, it's pretty hard and they have different sizes. So just like the real dog box, you can get it based on your dog's size and shoe preference. So it's all custom for you. Um, you can get these in different sizes, but this is a fully digestible, completely natural, sustainably sourced lamb horn that my dogs love because it is super, super crunchy when they chew it. And I don't have to worry about them choking on the little pieces they bite off because again, it's can we not jump up, please? It's fully digestible. Now, of course, every dog is different. Do what's right for your dog. But because it is so hard, it's also an excellent dental cleaner. And it's just something different, right? Like this is all about how can we add a little bit of enrichment, a little bit of novelty to our dog's life with little effort, right? Like obviously we want to physically exercise them. We want to take them out and explore new places and areas we want to do all those things, but sometimes life gets crazy. And if we can give them a chew, supervised and safely, of course, that they get a lot of joy and value from, then it's a win-win. The other thing to remember is that mental stimulation is by far more stimulating, more tiring to most every dog compared to just physical exercise alone. And then when you're able to pair the two, it's like, magical, complete transformation in our dogs that are hyperactive and then you want to calm them down. And especially with puppies, like I love giving my dogs brain games, enriching chews in combination with some sort of physical exercise every day. And I do have videos linked below about 
how much I exercise my dogs and how I make sure they get enough exercise that you can watch after Before this. Before I talk about three very popular chews that you guys are always asking about, yet yeah, I would never ever feed my dogs, I do wanna talk about one more chew type device or toy or thing that literally has been a game changer, especially during feeding time, especially when our dogs were puppies. And that is or are lick mats, lick buddies, and groove tools. They're all very similar. But what they are are these food grade silicone mats, bowls, or even training tools for a crate that you can actually freeze your dog's food if they feed a wet, if they eat a wet or raw food, or you can put on some pumpkin with no sugar eat added, uh, raw goat milk, bone broth with no seasoning, no salt added, or even some yogurt with, again, no fruit or sugar or anything added to it, and even freeze it. So this is actually the do my dog's food. Um, I will talk at the end of the video about what I feed my dogs and my favorite foods for dogs. And it actually has suction cups on it, so you can actually suction it to the bathtub or a fridge or wherever while you're giving your dog a bath or clipping their nails or just feeding them a meal so they're preoccupied with this and not with whatever you have to do like grooming your dog this would be a great thing to use for them again it's all linked down below then you have a lick mat and this is basically you can set it on the floor and you don't even have to freeze it you could just put their wet food on here and they have to lick it off and why that is valuable this is the wobble so they have to lick it and it kind of wobbles around and then this is the groove training tool aid which incredibly important for crate training especially wally because it actually clicks into a crate ideally the digs crate which i have linked down below which is my favorite crate of all time um, was a game changer in crate training um, but it can attach to a regular crate as well and then the puppy has to lick on it and they're licking on it inside the crate so it creates a pot of positive association but the reason these are so valuable is the licking sensation for a dog is actually stress reducing can lower anxiety and it just mentally takes them down several notches it's a very soothing activity for a dog for them it's like getting a deep tissue massage so i love having a variety variety of these ready to go if i'm just not feeling like working with them during meal time and then for three things that i would never give my dogs that are really popular first and foremost are rawhides if you're not familiar with how how toxic rawhides can be then i highly recommend you that you and urge you to co research them but they're literally made with toxic chemicals, they're made with glues, and they're really not even um, cowhide, which we're led to believe that they are. Uh, and they're also extremely, extremely commonly known to be choking hazards. So I would never give my dog one. I will say though, I'm not judging because once upon a time, years and years ago, I thought that they were healthy because that's what mainstream pet media led me to believe, but this is why, this is why I'm starting to be more comfortable with sharing all of these things that I give my dogs on a regular basis because I was, I've always been a crazy dog mom that would only want to give my dog the best out there and was obsessed with making sure that whatever I gave my dog, whether it was a toy or treat, food, chew, whatever, was the healthiest possible. But I, for years, was feeding things that we are now know is not was not healthy. And so it's really important to me to just share what I've learned along the way, not as a everybody needs to do it my way, but as a, hey, this is what I've learned and hopefully you can be inspired to go learn more about it about yourself, yourself or you take something away from this that helps you with your pet. The other thing that you guys constantly ask me about, I'm not gonna give the brand, but the green dental chews that you can get at the like Petco's and PetSmart. And if you look at the back of the bag of those and you look at the ingredients, you'll see this long ingredient deck of stuff that your dog really just doesn't need. And there's no way that that's actually cleaning the teeth because the best way for my dogs to have healthy teeth is not by feeding them things that are packed with fillers and carbs and starches and sugars, which those green dental chews are, but is to feed them natural and biologically appropriate chews that actually scrape against their teeth and actually rip the plaque off. That's how they would do it naturally in the wild. I also feed my dogs raw marrow bones and raw meaty bones because those are 
have actual tendons and ligaments which act as floss for my dogs and cleans their teeth. The other part is feeding them a real fresh food diet as well. Now, the last thing that I would never give my dog but is really, really popular are those really common little bone-shaped, crunchy, chew treats that you see everywhere. Like every time you go to a coffee shop with your dog or a drive through and they're like, can I give your dog a, a treat? I'm like, oh no, like, thank you. I appreciate the offer, but uh, my dog has a sensitive stomach is what I say, because those treats are packed with carbs and sugars, period. And dogs do not have any biological requirement for that many carbohydrates. And it is, I believe, one of the biggest reasons that almost 60% of dogs are overweight in our country. And that is another pro tip, which is if you are giving more calorie dense chews, which are great, um, I do recommend to reduce their feeding amount just a little bit, at least that's what I do, so that they don't get increased up in their caloric intake. Now, as promised, I wanna talk about my favorite foods for dogs and what I feed my boys. You can click the video right here and we'll jump over that together. Or if you want to see 10 easy tricks that you can work on with your dogs today, click the video right here and we'll do that together. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.